Hello and welcome to the VR Cauldron and in our last episode we looked at the Sonic Grace magnetic battery strap and today we are now looking at the VR Wave magnetic lens inserts for people like me who can't see very well because although you can play VR with your glasses on it's not ideal because if you've got a hot head like me you can steam them up. Also, some people who are short-sighted don't realize that if you're short-sighted in real life, you're gonna be short-sighted in VR. If you can't see up to a certain distance, you won't be able to see in VR. So if you find that your VR headset is a bit blurry, it could well be because you're short-sightedness. There's a few other reasons as well, especially if you've got a Quest 3S because of the smaller sweet spot. You might wanna first try a few things. For example, adjusting the top strap, make sure that you move the headset around until it's not blurry. Once you've got it in position, just pull the top strap open and then adjust it. Well, make sure it's tight first and then adjust it so the strap does not fall down and the sweet spot is kept where your eyeballs are. But unfortunately, if you are short-sighted, it probably isn't gonna help. So luckily it's VR Wave. They make these great inserts. I've actually been using these ever since the Quest 2. So these are now like my fourth pair of them and they have gradually got better because in the past, when I've done a bit of VR boxing, they have come a bit loose. So are these gonna be any good for VR boxing? Especially now Thrill of the Fight 2's out and it's multiplayer only. So you don't have the predictability of a computer controlled opponent. You've got a real person. So you're gonna be moving your head around suddenly and shakily. Are they gonna shake free? Let's find out. These. These seem like the strongest lenses in terms of magnets I've had. I don't know if they're different, but like I actually have to kind of give them a, big of a, a bit of a pull to get them out. So providing they stay put, they're just as good as all the other VR wave lenses I've had. Like in terms of the lenses themselves, they're always really good. The only problems I've had before are magnets coming out. And like some people prefer no magnets, but I like to be able to take them out. Like if I'm gonna lend someone, like let someone have a go, I wanna be able to take my lenses out. You only want the permanent ones if you're not just, you're just not gonna let anyone use your headset. So yeah, as far as magnets go, these are good strong magnets. They didn't move at all. So I am pleased to say that the VR Wave lens inserts did not shape free. The magnets on these do feel stronger than they've had in the past because I've said in the past that they've kind of shook free and these have not. If you are doing more strenuous VR activities, it is definitely worth having those because if you've got, if you wear your glasses and you do some boxing, everything steams up really quickly. Whereas these are less likely to because they're further away from your face. It's also a lot more comfortable to use lenses than it is to wear glasses in VR. And also there's always that chance that your glasses could touch the lenses and give them a little scratch, which we don't want. Now it is probably worth mentioning that if you have got a Quest 2 and suddenly it's a different lighting situation, I'm wearing a different t-shirt, but that's because it's a different day because my microphone ran out of batteries. But here I am again, and I'll change the microphone because I think I needed the upgrade anyway. Anyway, as I was saying, the lens shapes for the Quest 2 are actually exactly the same as the ones in the Quest 3S. So Quest 2 lenses that you already have will work in the Quest 3S. It also means though that if you don't have any at the moment, you've got a Quest 2, you can buy them for your Quest 2 and then if you get a 3S, you can just simply port them over. So really, although I am talking about lenses for the Quest 3S, I am really talking about lenses for the Quest 3S, the Quest 3, and the Quest 2 because VR Wave do them for all of them. The price does vary depending on what your prescription is and obviously if you've got a stronger prescription you need stronger lenses and it's going to cost a little bit more but the website is fairly self-explanatory you just got to put your prescription in and they'll tell you how much it costs and they're definitely worth having. I really don't like using VR with my glasses. I love using it with the lens inserts and I love the fact that I can just take them out. I have been quite happy with the VR Wave lenses over the years so I definitely recommend them and I'll leave a link in the description below. But yeah, if you did have blurry VR, obviously try different things first. Try that top strap first. Try your IPD settings as well because it might be too far apart and you're not hitting that sweet spot. Remember the sweet spot in the lenses for the Quest 2 and the Quest 3S are a lot smaller. So you need to be looking exactly through that part of the lens. Whereas on the Quest 3, it's a big sweet spot. So it doesn't matter as much. And also, 
it might just be blurry because you're just not used to VR resolution. VR resolution has to be massive because you are so close to the screen, unlike a normal monitor where you've got a bit of distance between you. Anyway, they were the VR Wave lenses for all the quests, and they do box, especially the new ones. The magnets definitely seem stronger. So, thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this video or got something from it, leave a thumbs up, please. If you didn't like it, let us know in the comments and leave a thumbs down. And until next time, please save.